Aries, what's going on with you guys? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be a reading for August. Let's see what's going on with Aries. There's Aries tuning in around the world. What's going on with you guys? Hmm, let's see. Aries, what's going on with your love life during the month of August? What's going on with Aries during the month of August? Hmm, the world card, the Ace of Swords. Are you walking away from something, closing a chapter out in your life, and having a new beginning? That's what it looks like to me. But let's see. I want to spread. <clears throat> let's see, Aries. What's going on? What's the overall situation with your love life during the month of August? Okay. The Ace of Swords. This is observation. Hmm. Okay, so the Hermit. Interesting. You're definitely minding your business, all right? And I feel that you are moving forward. You're headed towards some sort of direction. Where is it that Aries is headed here with this chariot energy? Where is it? Where is this chariot headed? Fuck, a reunion? What's going on? There's someone you've been keeping tabs on, Aries, all right? You've been looking at someone from afar. You've been spying on this individual. You've been watching all my goddamn Aries readings. And you've been trying to gain information on whomever it is that you got on your mind. And it seems that you are going to be making some sort of major advancements towards some sort of union. This could be reconciling. All right. This could, uh, this also feels a bit heavy, let me tell you. All right. So there may be a serious conversation that needs to be had. Don't think that, oh, reconciliation. Yes, there's fucking rainbows, you know, shooting out of my ears and... And it's going to be all gravy. No, ladies and gents, it seems like there's a tough talk here that lies ahead. Something that could have or that needed to be spoken quite some time ago. But let's see. Wow, the Battle of the Queens. Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. All right. What about this? What about this? What about this? The Tower. I'm telling you, something drastic, something heavy needs to happen. I see positive intention here with the chariot, okay? But the chariot is just coming, taking that action towards clarifying something, right? Maybe something was stuck. Maybe something wasn't moving somewhere. And now it's like, all right, deconstruction of this shit. It's time to rebuild. What's, what am I building? What am I rebuilding? Why this tower? Let's clarify this tower. What is the conundrum behind this energy of transformation, of destruction? <clears throat> Somebody wants success. A new beginning in love, huh? A new beginning in love, ladies and gents. It's time to be vulnerable. Is that what I'm saying here? Time to open up your heart. Time to spill out your feelings. What is this? That's what it looks like to me, ladies and gents. Time to spill out those feelings, Aries. All right? So that's what this tower entails. It's like, look, I've been watching you from a distance. Now I'm coming, and I want to talk to you. All right, and this person's like, okay, boom, what's the deal? What's the deal? I mean, I'm sure some of you guys are going to be a lot more romantic than the way I'm, you know, enunciating this storyline, but I'm just giving you guys the gist of the energy that I'm picking up here. So let's continue to clarify this, this mystery. <clears throat> let's look at this page energy. Let's look at this page energy. This fucking page looks mad, right? Could have been, you could be looking at someone at a distance or someone could be looking at, a, at you and they're a bit bothered, I kid you not, all right? They're a bit bothered. I feel that they're a bit bothered due to the lack of engagement between you two because things are just like stagnant, okay? They're really not moving. There's this, this a lack of growth. Someone here is fucking vexed about it, but they're still desirous for union. Page, page energy, okay? Yeah. They're pretty clear about what it is that they want. Someone here has got interest in another individual that they are basically prolonging action toward. But then we move towards the chariot. Then we move towards the chariot. And what is the chariot? Let's clarify the chariot. Let's look into this chariot. Three of swords. Fuck. Well, it fucking popped up again, ladies and gents. Three of swords. Yeah. I feel that there was a major heartbreak that ensued in a relationship. It put someone stuck. There was a lot of silence here in this relationship. And, you know, someone here was just, this could be mutual energy. We're going to look at the energy you're dealing with and the person you're dealing with. 
But someone here was just, they never got over it and there was possibly a lack of communication, distance. And someone here was spying and gaining, getting clarity on the, on the, you know, in the process of time. And finally they're like, yep, I'm gonna go address this situation. I'm gonna go address this situation. Maybe someone's coming towards you, Aries, or maybe you're going towards someone. We're gonna see here in just a moment, but let's continue unraveling this situation. Tell me more about this chariot energy. Tell me more about this chariot energy. The world card. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone here wants a, wants a new beginning. Let's fucking turn the page on this chapter. I'm done, all right? Completion, let's start fresh. Let's start have a new beginning. Let's close out the past. Let's close out the past. That's what somebody, I'm telling you, I get good intentions here. I get good intentions. Yeah. Someone here needs peace of mind. Whomever it is that's taking action towards the other seems to be very, very discombobulated mentally. Okay? Uh, let me just say that. So someone here may be acting out of like, fuck, I cannot take this anymore. And I need to go address this heartbreak with Aries. Or maybe Aries is thinking this way. What's going on with this uh, Queen of Swords? Well, the Queen of Swords is the individual coming forth and bringing action to the table, ladies and gents. What's going on? All right. What about this Queen of Pentacles? This Queen of Pentacles team seems to be looking the other direction. You see, somebody here turned their back on another individual. And this, this individual here, the Queen of Swords, was, was spying. And they're fucking bitter and angry because... For whatever reason, because there wasn't communication, there wasn't engagement, and finally they're like, nope, I ain't taking this shit no more, I'm gonna go address this. And they're coming forth with action. Yep, with action, wanting to have balance within the relationship. Somebody here wants to have balance in a relationship that fell out. All right, now what's going on with this Queen of Pentacles? What's her energy? What? She looks like she's turning away. Knight of Wands, okay, fire energy, interesting. So whomever's receiving this communication is excited. All right, they're excited, but they're gonna tame themselves. They're gonna tame themselves. Someone here's receiving it, they're fucking giddy and happy and excited about this, enthused, but they're like, all right, I'm gonna keep it cool and I'm gonna take my time with this. I wanna do this right. I want to, I wanna clear the air. All right. Yeah, because there's major defeat within the situation. So despite the fact that, that this person receiving this, this communication is very happy, there's just a lot of damage in this, con in this connection that they're like, okay, I cannot just you know, be overly enthusiastic about this. This, this is a serious matter. It needs to be treated as such. <clears throat> but let's see. This goes to say that they're serious. All right, they're interested and they're serious. They, they want to do this right. What is Aries's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Aries's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? What is Aries, the collective of Aries, with those that I'm connected with? What is their energy? The Seven of Swords. Aries, so you could actually be turning your back on this situation. You could be the individual receiving the communication and feeling all giddy and then acting like you want to take things slow. And in reality, you're fucking enthused and you're happy and you're all happy. And that's what I'm seeing, Aries. Yup. You've been wanting this new beginning this whole time. But you've just been abandoning the situation. Alright? It's like, yes, I want this new beginning, but no, I'm turning my back. I ain't going for that shit. I ain't initiating this. That's what I'm seeing here. Tell me more about Aries' energy. You, you may not be taking this offer. It, I'm getting the sense that you may not be taking this offer. All right, Aries? That's what I'm seeing. You got a fucking tower moment about to happen here in this next month regarding a relationship that you have some negative turmoil with. All right? Tell me more about Aries' energy. They're not taking the action. Somebody's getting fucking rejected by Aries. Aries has their guard up. All right? That is what I'm seeing here for Aries. Yep, someone's getting shut down, ladies and gents. Flat out. Boom. Hold your horses. Hold your goddamn horses. I am standing my ground. I am not ready to open up to you. Nope. <clears throat> Could have been some major abandonment. Maybe the heartbreak ensued and the situation just never found some resolution or they just got abandoned. 
all right, it just got abandoned and the conflict just remained within the situation. And Aries is just not in a position to open up to this situation or to this individual. Even though this individual seems to want to come forward and clarify and I see Aries a bit repulsive, I see them a bit defensive. Uh, but Aries, you got love for this individual. You got love for this individual, flat out. You got love for this individual. I, I feel like whomever it is that you're dealing with could be younger than you or they could be offering something that you're just not keen toward. However, I feel that if this individual was to, you know, match your energy, maybe become a king and come forward to you, which you are the queen, if there was a match in energy, I feel like you would be a lot more receptive to it. But maybe it just needs time to develop. Maybe this individual is starting off slow. Maybe they just want to test the waters with you. Therefore, they're bringing this little offer here, this Ace of Cups. All right. When in reality, you're like, nope, I need the Ten of Cups. I need the Ten of Cups. I ain't fucking around. Let's see. Well, look at who we have here at the bottom of the deck. Speaking of the king. Let's look at whomever it is that Aries is dealing with. What is their energy towards Aries? Whomever it is that Aries is dealing with. What is their energy towards Aries? Whomever it is that Aries is dealing with. <clears throat> the High Priestess. Silence. Silent. Talk to me about that height. Yeah. They're hiding their feelings for you. This is that goddamn little fucking page. Didn't I tell you, you guys been dealing with a snack this whole goddamn month? It's like you're dealing with a goddamn page, but you're very fond of this individual. And look at it. Here we are. The high priestess from afar spying on you, Aries, hiding their goddamn feelings. They, they're fucking in love with you, but you don't know this because they're silent. They're silent. They're going to come to a point where they're like, screw this shit. I'm taking action towards Aries. I'm, I'm telling you, they, their feelings are, are really strong for you and they're just going to be like, I can't take this anymore and I'm taking action. That's what I'm seeing here, Aries. That's what I'm seeing here. Let's see. Yup. <laughs> the card of Mercury, the magician, card of communication, intellect. And then we got the Ace of Swords, card of communication. Aries, you got someone coming towards you. All right, someone here that you may not be so trusting toward. Someone here you may be very defensive toward. All right, who, and you could have actually even turned your back on this individual and started walking away from. So if you walked away from somebody, Aries, this individual is coming back to reconcile with you. All right, that is what I'm seeing here in your month of August. Someone is coming to reconcile for you, Aries. Now I'm going to be taking this to the extended, all right? And I'm going to be completely deconstructing whomever it is that you're dealing with. I'm going to look into their feelings. I'm going to look into their actions. I'm going to look into their intentions and the near future of this relationship. If you're interested, the link to that will be in the description. Otherwise, Aries, look, it seems that you're already focused. You appeared as a queen of coins, focusing on your stability, focusing on your money. You must have some sort of groundedness to exude that energy. All right, you turned your back towards love. It doesn't seem like you may be too involved in love at this time. However, someone seems to be coming back, wanting to reconcile, wanting to revivify something with you. And I see you a bit defensive. So to each their own, at the end of the day, you seem to be the one pursued. All right, happy August. I'll see you guys in the extended or I'll see you guys in another video.